Do you see that? Under the seven train in Jackson Heights? That's a truck serving tacos so good, you might just shed a little tear. Mm. Oh, she cute. That's the birria. This is exactly how they sell it in Tijuana. Classic, and cilantro, and sauce, nothing else. The more important about how, how you make the beer, I can give you the recipe, but it's, it's the love you put in there. So Jose here has almost 20 years of experience cooking in the best restaurants in New York City. He was at Lupa and Del Posto, but now he's running things out of his own truck with his brother Jesus. This Tijuana-style birria is made by dipping tortillas in beef fat, throwing them on the griddle, and stuffing them with rich, chili-laced beef stew. Ugh. Yeah, I could, uh, I could eat all of that. When I come back to New York, I still have these tacos in my mind, and the only way to eat them again is if I make them myself. And I start making them for my co-workers, and they like it. They tell me, why you don't sell these tacos? You, you go make it with money. That's how they convinced me to start on this. And we are here, and I'm so glad about this neighborhood. They give me a very good welcome. The impression the customers do to me when they start eating my tacos, I get so many feelings inside, like, oh, this is good. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal? Bueno, listo de los tacos. Encuentro me chico. In Tijuana, birria is usually eaten with consomme, a red cilantro y broth that turns a good taco into a great one. If you know what's up, you dip those bad boys in consomme between each bite. Mm-hmm, that's right, just like that. Mm. Dr. Steven here, he knows what's up. Some might even call him an expert on the subject of tacos. Different corporations in history have removed Mexican people further and further, and that removes all the history of the people that brought the food in the first place. And that's called decontextualization. Yeah, this guy teaches a class on taco literacy. <laughs> but you don't need a degree to enjoy these tacos, although it might give you a deeper appreciation. The tradition of birria is it comes from mining communities in Jalisco. It's a very hearty stew, a working class kind of food. As I lift it up, you can see the beef just kind of falling apart to the spoon. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm having a quasi-religious experience, excuse me. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Mas tacos. Oh, bueno. Yeah, oh, yeah. Siempre. Siempre. <laughs> the thing about this is that there's a lot of people can learn about Mexican people through the food. For people to understand us, you have to understand their food, you have to understand their culture. The best way to measure it is on the happy faces of the folks who try it. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. The first day they opened, I was here with them. And I literally, I cry because it, I have to go all the way back to TJ to have this beautiful taco. We don't have in New York. I feel love into this taco, so I would say that it's the same as you will get it in Tijuana. Look, late night eating can get, well, emotional. If you ever find yourself crying on the streets at 2 a.m., mm. I hope it's over the pure beauty of a taco made with love. Mm. I feel so happy when I hear this. I mean, it's like it's something like it's better than the money we make over here. So I'm happy. 